What's up, guys? Stephanie here from Southern Girl Cooks. Today we're going to be making simple fried devil eggs. So let's get started. So what I have here is I've already boiled a few eggs. I'm not making a lot because there's only a couple of us here today. And I'm just going to cut them in half because what we're going to do is we want to get that lovely yolk out and we're going to reserve the uh, whites for frying. Now, if you want to fry the entire egg, you can do that, um, but that's not what we're doing today. We're just going to be frying the white uh, part of it, okay? So we're just gonna get the yolk out, pop the yolk over here. I've already diced up some onion. I've got some sweet relish, some mayo, some mustard, and just a dab of sugar. The sugar is optional. I broke that one a little bit, but don't worry about it. That'll be the tester one for me. I hope this video is finding you guys well. Please make sure that you comment, subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. If you're returning, welcome back. Click like, click share, tell a friend to tell a friend about Southern Girl Cooks. We upload videos twice a week on this channel. So please make sure you're hitting that bell notification. That way, every time Southern Girl Cooks uploads a video, you'll be amongst the first to know. Guys, I don't believe I've already said, but my name is Stephanie, and I'm the host here at Southern Girl Cooks. So we have our last yolk out. Fun fact, if you are one of those that struggles with the shell sticking to the egg when you're boiling them, if you put about a tablespoon of oil doesn't matter what kind of oil, I use vegetable oil, but if you put that in the water when you're boiling the eggs, it will stop that shell from sticking to the egg. So that's a fun fact for you. But what happens is the oil gets between the membrane and the shell and it doesn't stick. So that's wonderful news. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm just using a fork to break up the yolk. This is a really nice treat. You can put it aside beside your meal, your entree, or you can just have it for snacks or a nice, maybe you're having a nice brunch, having a nice uh, guy's night out or girl's night out, okay? So I've got some onion. I've already diced it. You want to make sure that you have your onion cut up pretty uh, fine, okay? I'll make sure that I link in the description how much you need of everything. So we're going to put our mayo in. I'm going to put some mustard in. Now you're only going to put just a drop of mustard in here. And put some relish in. I like to go heavy on the relish because I love that sweetness that it lends to the dish. Now, in addition to the ingredients here, I also have some flour. I've got some panko because we are going to be dredging our eggs in those mixtures and you'll see that momentarily. You're going to salt and pepper to taste and you also are going to add a little bit of sugar if you want to. Okay. Now I hate when I have devil eggs that are really dry when, when I taste them that are really dry. So I'm going to put a little more mayonnaise in these. Put a dab of sugar. And by dab, I mean dab. Unless you like your super sweet and then you can add more to it. It's up to you. Make this recipe what you want. I'm just giving you the tools. You can make the recipe what you like. Okay, guys. So what I've done is I've already salt and peppered my egg yolk mixture. I went ahead and put it in a little bag. Um, so that I can cut, snip off the end, and when it's time to reef or to fill these babies, um, that'll make it easier. Now, what I have here is I've got, like I said, some flour and some panko, and what I've done is I've already started to uh, flour the egg whites. I got a couple more to do. So now I've got just some eggs, just a couple of eggs that I beat, and I am going to take the floured egg white, roll it in the egg, beaten egg, and then roll it in the panko, okay? 
Now guys, when you're frying this, you wanna make sure that before you drop this egg in your oil, that your oil is the correct temperature. And so you're looking for a temperature of around 350. So let's see where we're sitting. Guys, if you've not already done so, please make sure that you check out some of our other recipe videos. We've got all kinds of recipes on the website or on the channel. So please make sure that you're checking those out as well. So the temperature is nice, not quite where we want it to be. So we're gonna go ahead and just continue to um, bread these. Egg wash. Panko. Relax. Egg wash. Panko. Relax. So rinse and repeat, guys. Okay, guys, so now that we've gotten everything breaded in our oil, we did a temperature check, so it's ready. We are just going to drop these in our oil. And we're just gonna fry them until they're golden brown. It doesn't take but just a couple of minutes, okay? Don't crowd your pan. You do wanna make sure that you are getting a lovely crust. I think one of them flipped over on me. And as you can see, they're already starting to brown. And guys, in case you're wondering, this crust really puts you in the mind of um, an onion ring crust. Not a beer battered onion ring, but you know, just a regular panko crusted onion ring. This one's already ready. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that one out. Guys, these pre present so beautifully. You'd be the hit of the party if you brought these. If you're wondering, you can make your filling ahead of time and then right before you get ready to serve them, you can uh, bread them and fry them. Please make sure that you stay tuned to the end. That way you can see the finished results and the taste test. Now, like I said, I had already put my mixture in a bag, so I am just going to cut the corner off so that I can fill my eggs. Let's check on these so we don't burn them. Oh, we got a little more time. Okay. So we are just going to fill them. And using the bag just makes it look nice. I always like to put just a little bit of smoked paprika on the top. Tastes good, but it also looks nice. Just a little bit of smoked paprika on top. Oh, I'm excited about these guys. They're so beautiful. Oh, that crust is so nice. And like I said earlier, guys, if you want to go ahead and bread and fry the entire devil egg with the filling in it, you can do that. Okay, so we'll just fill the other ones that we have left. This will be our tester. If you have a little bit left, you can go back and show some love to maybe one that might be a little bit smaller. 
maybe you didn't put as much filling on it. Okay, throw our paprika on them. I'm gonna let them cool off just a bit and then we'll taste them. Guys, look what you did today. Today we made fried devil eggs. Look at the beauty in that. That is so pretty. Now for the taste test. Mmm. Mmm. Guys, this is really, really good. Mmm. Guys, this is going in rotation. As always, thank you for watching Southern Girl Cooks, and I'll see you in my next recipe video.